I go to the power grid. We open the power grid and go to the rating page. Now you can see that the maximum generation voltage has appeared here in the generation category, normal generation voltage and minimum generation voltage. So like I said, we'll be using this for an easier understanding in our load flow analysis. Now, according to IEEE, that IEEE stands for Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. I'll take that again. Institute of Ele Electrical and Electronics Engineers. The maximum voltage limit is 105%, while the minimum voltage limit is 95%. This simply means that the voltage regulation limit is set to plus or minus 5%. So we'll be using the maximum generation voltage limit and the minimum generation voltage limit as well as the normal generation voltage limit for the purpose of this analysis. Now once we are done with that, we click on OK. And now I'll be modeling the lump load. We'll go to nameplate. Now we already have the KVA written. So you can see the AC load category, which we did earlier as reflected here. Now for peak load, peak load means the highest operating load the capacity of the overall load. Now, you know, a long load, like I explained in one of our sessions, is a combination of electrical load. So when all the loads are on, we are referring to peak load. Now, the peak load of an existing power system is not usually 100% because the efficiency of the components must have dropped over time so we use peak load as 90 percent while on normal loading we can assume that some of the loads are turned off so we can use 70 percent minimum load means most of the load are turned off probably only the lighting points are turned on so 20 percent and zero effect, assuming everything is functioning at 100% efficiency level, which means we have to use 100%. And I will be performing a load flow analysis on each of these settings to see how the power system will operate during peak load, normal load, minimum load, and the zero effect. Now, this modeling should be done on each of the lump loads. I have already done that on the remaining loads. So if you go to the name plate, yeah, I've already done that. So you can go ahead and do it on each of the lump loads. The next thing we'll be going to is the load flow analysis. And now once you click on the load flow analysis, you can see the edit options for AC elements, DC elements, and instrumentation components are gone. And we have new options here. I'll be explaining this in this session. But firstly, we have a study case. It's called the load flow study case. 